Hello Writer friends, if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back, and if you're new here, welcome! My name is Michelle Winkler and I'm an indie author in training. On my channel I post videos about my self-publishing journey and share some of the mistakes I've made so hopefully you don't have to make them too. If you've never tried Scrivener before, you've come at the right time. They just released a new version, version 3 for Windows, and it has a ton of new features. This video is going to show you the real quick, bare bones way to get started writing fast. I'm going to be doing other videos that will go into more depth on different features and how to do some fancy stuff, but this video is going to be pretty short. It's just to show you the user interface, how to find your way around, and how to get started right. How to get started writing really fast. One really important feature that I'm not going to cover is compiling. That's when you get totally done writing. Scrivener, Scrivener projects, projects are broken into multiple documents. And when you want it to be in Word or ready to go publish, you want it to be in one document. So the compiling feature I did in a separate video and I'll link that in the description below, but this is just to get you started. So let's hop on the computer and we'll get going. Okay, so when you first start up Scrivener, it may look a little different than what I have here because you'll either be on the trial version or you'll be inputting your license key. But eventually you'll get to a screen that does have this on it somewhere. Um, the tutorial I definitely recommend going through later when you have some time. We won't do that today. They do have all kinds of different templates as you can see. They have fiction templates, non-fiction templates. But we just want to get writing so we're going to start with a blank. So you go ahead and hit blank, hit create, and you're going to want to navigate. This is not the right folder. Yes it is. So you're going to want to navigate just like with any other file to where you want to have it. Down here, you're going to name it, click save. So here we go. It's pretty simple as you can see, but that's because we're just opening a new one. There are so many different things you can do with this, but it kind of is like a Word document. This over here on the left is your binder and it's how you navigate around. This middle part right here is where you type. Um, we're also going to go over some other parts. There's an inspector pane, which if you don't see it, you click this little eye up here and it'll pop up for you. So now as you start typing, um, you don't want to have it all one document because that's kind of what Word, Word is for and other programs like that. What you want to do is you want to break it up into different chapters, different scenes, something like that. The way you add a new document is you click this little plus sign up here and it adds a new one. Now if you just start typing, it'll type in the title for that thing. You have to click here first. So then you have two documents. See this one up here, it says type the chapter. It, it typed what I wanted there. If you want to name it something, you can either double click it and name it, okay? Or when you click, type in this, hit enter, and then type in the, this, is, okay, and then keep going. So a note on the binder, you can set this up however you want. I like to have folders for each chapter, and then the documents within those folders are the chapter text themselves. Um, so if you want to do a folder, like say these first two you want to put in a folder, click this little downward triangle and then click new folder, uh, chapter one. Now take these and drag them into, hover over it, it'll say a little arrow and second chapter and then let go and it'll drop it right in there. And we're going to do there. So now we've got, and you can just move them. So now we've got chapter one, which has second chapter and the first chapter, and then we have chapter two. A little on the navigation here. These three buttons up here at the top, right now we're in the one that looks like a page. It's called the Scrivenings. I don't know, it's a strange word, it doesn't tell you anything. It's the Scrivenings view. If you were to put it like here, where you have two documents within this folder and you click Scrivenings view, it will do all the documents in this folder, all the documents in this folder will show up one after the other with this little dotted line in between. But if you just have the one document by itself, then it's that document. The other view we have, which you saw there for a second, is corkboard view. I love this view. <laughs> Let's say you have a folder with more than one scene. You can go to corkboard view and you can see these and you can switch the location of them. I went the wrong way, I switched the location of them. So when you have a whole story, you can see the overview of the whole story. This editing pane in the center. You can have this all different kinds of styles. You can have headings. You can do this kind of formatting, however you would do in Word. 
This left one is just for navigation, so you don't really get to format any of that. This right side pane, the inspector pane, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. This is like your index card. It's a synopsis of what happened. Let's say in this chapter. The way this comes in handy is when you have your corkboard view, you can see a little synopsis of what happens in each chapter. So if you're like, oh no wait, first she goes to the store, you can just drag it up and switch positions. I love that, it makes it so easy. Oh yeah, so if any of these panels aren't where they should be, the inspector on the right is this little toggle switch right here. Um, this editor pane doesn't go anywhere, it's just always there because that's the whole point of the software. This binder on the left, if you want to get rid of it and have more base to write, you can just click that and it'll take it away and click that and there you go, you just have text. And then you can bring them back when you want to navigate around. Okay, so this outliner view, this third button over on the right, we've got the scrivenings, the cork board, and the outliner. The outliner, whoops, okay. So if you have it in Outliner and it switches to corkboard when you click on the folder, just click Outliner again. I don't know why it doesn't stay there, but it doesn't. So Outliner View is the same kind of thing as corkboard, only they're not index cards, they're just in rows. And you can, there's all kinds of advanced features you can use for this, but I believe you can just drag, yeah. You can drag these around just like you would the index cards to reorder things. So I hope this has been helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to suggest a video for the future. And to find out about how to compile, go ahead and click the link in the description or I'm gonna try title cards. I don't think I've used those before or maybe just somewhere. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.